Welcome back to another review. I have a budget solid state drive in for testing today. It's the Reca Data, 120 gigabytes, and this is in the M.2 form factor. So this comes just in the anti-static bag. There's nothing else at all supplied with it. You should find that the screw attachment on the board and spacer will already be on your motherboard. So that's, um, in this case, it was on the gigabyte board that I have here. So just a case of slotting it in and fitting it. Already did a quick tutorial on this. Doesn't take long at all. Didn't have to move the spacer on this. Sometimes these drives vary in length. So this is really for mainly for desktop use because of the length. Now when it is installed, you'll see the red power LED comes on and that starts to flash when it's accessing data. That's in addition to the front panel. Once you've connected that, that will uh, indicate hard drive or solid state drive activity. So a quick shot of the drive. I actually scanned this just to give you a bit of a closer look at it. And it is using an Intel chip. I checked, double checked on the uh, number with the chip. So this is a 3D NAND chip from Intel. So hopefully that will give us a decent endurance and reliability but I have put some of the key specs that I could find on this. There's not a whole ton of information for it. Um, so there's the Intel chip there. Controller AS2258. And um, the total bytes written there, 35 terabytes written. That's probably going to cover your warranty period on this. It's a budget drive. So... You're not going to get as long a warranty as some of the premium drives. Just some information from Crystal Disk. And this gave me just a basic overview. But you'll notice the temperatures here getting in around about the mid-40s. Shouldn't need a heat sink with this for normal use. But sometimes they can overheat when you're doing intensive tasks. And there isn't any information available for the endurance on this particular drive. Now on to the test. This is the results that I got. So not bad. It's not, by no means the fastest drive that I've used. It is a budget drive, but most people will be interested in the read speeds, which are quite good. Write speed's not as good as some of the other drives that I've looked at, but satisfactory. So I'll just do a practical test on this now, just to show you booting up. This will depend on your motherboard BIOS settings as well. So you can shorten that and we're straight into the windows now. So pretty good boot up times on this, definitely a lot faster than you will get with a normal hard drive. And that's the general idea with this is a budget offering, keep the cost down and give you that solid state speed. What I tend to do is back up the drive onto a traditional hard drive and I'll put photos, videos, games, big files on that. So with that in mind, 120 gigabytes, probably enough for most people. So thanks for watching. I hope you found that of some use. And do have a look through some of my other videos and I'll catch up with you soon.